Hey guys, it's Homestar92. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Earthbound. In the last part, we did some exploration around Wanet. And now, in this part, we are going to do the next part of the game. So, remember those guys who were kind of flocking around the arcade? The sharks, if you recall? Well, we're gonna go fight them to make sure we're at full health. We're not. Let's check out our goods, see what we got. Um, I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna buy some hamburgers. Well, first, we'll see how much money I have. Uh, oh. I'll just withdraw all of it. Now, we've got 120, so let's go ahead and buy the cheap bracelet and equip it here. As you can see, that raises our defense quite a bit. So now I'm going to go over and buy hamburgers until I run out of money since they're the best healing item that we can get right now. And wait till you can see these prices. 14 bucks for a hamburger. That's pretty crazy. Um, we can only afford one and the other stuff isn't really worth it. But So we'll have to make do with this. Anyway, let's head down to the arcade take on the sharks. Whoa, I don't want to go that way. I just want to get in with this few bat- whoa, slow down. Weird. No, I don't want to fight you. How is that a back attack? Come on. <sighs> Pogapunk. Oh, he's just going to call for help, I bet. No. Alright. Okay, dead. 15 EXP. And we got a hamburger. Nice, nice, nice. Let's just sneak in there. Oh. I see the deal. Haha. -ha. Okay. Now. Let's... Oh, wait. Now this guy is always going to run up and fight you. There's no way around it. But he didn't get a back attack and he fell down, so odds are we'll beat him with no damage and he could possibly drop a hammer. So, yeah. And we got up to level 5, which is very, very nice, and it will help us a lot in the upcoming part. I'll go ahead and use this bread roll, get myself back to full health. And this game, one of the things it does is it doesn't just break the fourth wall, it freaking demolishes it. Look at this. Hey kid, do you want to become a member? Yes. Come back after you finish Earthbound. So that's a pretty big fourth wall breaking. Oh, something else I want to point out. These arcade machines. Super Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong, Space Invaders. Just thought I'd point that out. Or no. I want to say... I'm going to say no. He'll fight you. He's the Yes Man Jr. He's a bit more powerful than the other guy, but as you can see, a well-placed smash attack will take him out pretty easily. And we can head on back here. And talk to this guy, he's their leader. I'm Frank. You are? Come on, can't you at least say your name? And this is a boss battle. Now he's got knives. I'm surprised Men's Nova America edited out Teddy's knives and kept Frank's, but whatever. Now obviously it helps if you have your signature move, which I don't yet, so we're just going to have to bash at him and hope we can beat him without dying. As you can see, he's got some fairly powerful attacks. I'm going to use me some life up. Thankfully the rolling HP will probably keep us from dying for most of the battle. Good. Simple stuff. He's dead. Or is he? We'll find out. Next time on Let's Play Earth... No, no, I wouldn't cut off this early. We're not even at five minutes. We're only a little past four. Ah, now we have to beat, fight his robot. Now, his robot has a mechanic. He will attack one turn, and then he will always generate a puff of steam the next turn. So he will only attack half of the turns, meaning he's going to attack on the next turn. And his attacks can be very powerful or very weak. I'm going to go ahead and use more life up. Now he's going to attack on this turn. 
See, it's very predictable, and you can use this mechanic to your advantage. Sometimes, of course, he'll do that. Of course, since we know he's going to generate a puff of steam, we can take this opportunity to use life up and max out our HP. It's a very simple battle if you know how it works. See, we just took out two bosses in, like, two minutes. Now we're level six, which is nice. Guts, oh, I forgot to explain what Guts does. Basically, your Guts stat can do a couple things. It will increase the frequency that you get smash attacks, and it will also make it possible, like, if your Guts can cause you to actually not die when you wouldn't take mortal damage, it could cause your HP to pause at one instead of going all the way to zero, so that's very good. Obviously a good stat. This is my first defeat. Failproof Frank is now just failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get to the Giant Step, that's all I know. I suggest you collect more in information on your own. The entrance is behind the touring and entertainer shack. Purple, the mayor of Warnet, has the key to the shack. Okay. Now, something I should point out, if you talk to him again, he will... He should... Okay, if you leave, and go back, talk to him again, he'll let you rest, which will refill your HP. So, you no longer need the hotel here in Wanet because you've got Frank. Now this guy will always run up to you again and say, yeah, and nothing else. So, let's get in this trash can. Can of fruit juice, ah, uh, why not? Okay, so he said the mayor of Perkel, ha the mayor, has more information about um, giant steps. So let's go to the town hall. Let's go see the mayor. We can just head on up now. It's not going to stop us like it would have before. We can just head right up the stairs. And no one's going to stop us. Let's talk to the mayor. Hey, 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 I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. It's so nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies, punched them out big time, kicked their butts, bit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. Then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. What? You want a key to the touring entertainer shack? For someone as great as you, giving the key could help t keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Sure, I won't sue. And he gives you the key. Easy stuff. Now you've got the key to that shack. So, if you head over there, you might have been able to see the very tip of it, like out of the corner of your eye. Oh, first I've got to do one more thing before I go there. Because you actually have to do this. So let's take a look here. I want to go to Mock Pizza. I'm not going to buy anything. Or is it not open yet? Okay, it's not open yet. Never mind. Let's just head right over to Giant Step. We can't go to Tucson because you'll find that it's roadblocked. Runaway dog runs away from us. You get a free back attack, and watch this. Auto kill. Because it knows that you. What? Oh, come on. That's so freaking ridiculous. Fine, I'll kill you right here. Or not. Die. Okay, if you don't get back attacked on, obviously me being flashing kind of hurt me there, but if you don't get back attacked on, and an enemy is significantly lower level than you, it'll just auto-kill them, because it figures, well, you're going to get an extra hit, and you're going to beat them in one or two turns. So it assumes you're going to win the battle, and it just lets you play it without actually doing anything. Talk to these guys. This shack was locked by someone from City Hall. Oh, that's right. It was the Touring Entertainer's shack. Well, let's go ahead and use the key. Now, do we still have the key? Good. Okay. Now, in this cave, you will find the first dungeon, which will lead to the first Your Sanctuary location. 
but since we're at 9 minutes and 10 seconds already, I figure I don't really have time to start a dungeon, so I'm going to cut this here. So as always, if you like this LP, or you like my LPs in general, or you like me, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe my videos, and I am Homestar92, and I will see you guys later with more Earthbound.